all right, man, it's like 8.30 at night. I got people coming out the darkness out of nowhere approaching me. Although nice, but you know, it kind of scares me. I see a bunch of reflective lights along the water. <laughs> alligators, man, there's like eight or nine alligators lined up along the shore. It is pitch black, I cannot see nothing. Uh, so yeah, man, I mean, normally I don't do this, quite honestly, but nah, bro. This, this is just too much. This is just too much. So um, with that being said, let there be light. Mm -mm, we ain't down today. What's going on everyone? Nick from 618 Fishing here and welcome back to another fishing adventure. I look out across the water I smell the song I feel the breeze Of my old home, Tennessee. Don't even know where these rivers. Yo, I just got to the spot, and as I'm pulling over the bridge, I swear I see like a seven foot alligator grabbing a drone. Let's go. All right, man. I just parked. I grabbed this one camera in my drone. Where is it at? Oh my God. First time at this spot. I seen signs say sign possible alligators, but damn, I didn't think I actually would see one. Oh man, where did it go? Come on, please be here. Please be here. Oh, I see it. I definitely see it. All right, y'all. I'm about to go over there. Hold on. We need a good spot to land a drone. Oh my. That thing is big. <laughs> this is too much fun. All right, we're gonna try to get a picture. Hold on, hold on. All right, it's right over here. All right, lo loading up this drone. Come on, hurry up, hurry up, come. Still on top of the water over there. Gotta get the shot. Okay, let's go, let's go. Yo, what's up, y'all? My name is Raynell Roy. Welcome back to my channel, Fishing Trips. We'll be back for another vlog, y'all. Special one. Got a special one for y'all today. So look, man, I'm at a spot I've never been to before, all right? Crabbing has brought me here. People say this is a good crabbing spot, so I'm gonna try to crab. But I also bought three poles, okay? It's gonna be a challenge video slash crabbing video. How's it gonna be a challenge video? I have no bait for my rods. No bait. 
But I give myself three ways to catch bait. I have one sabiki rig, no fish bites, no shrimp, just a sabiki rig, so nothing but hooks. If I can catch a crab with my chicken and my crab nets, I can use a crab for bait. Lastly, I have a cast net, okay? Maybe I catch some mullet, use that for bait. One problem though, I have not used a cast net in about five years, man. It's been about five years since I used a cast net because five years ago when I was trying to teach myself how to use a cast net, I got so frustrated that I said, the hell with this, I'm never going to throw a cast net again. This cast net that I have has been in the garbage bag for about five years now, but I brought it back. So yeah, that's the challenge. Try to catch some bait so I can catch a rod or bait my rod and catch the big fish. In the meantime, blue crabs is the number one goal, okay? Personally, I think I can do it. <laughs> Enjoy the vlog, y'all. Let go! Alright, y'all, so I'm gonna be fishing off this pier right here. As you can see, there's no lights. It's about 7.30. I'm starting late because it's hot as hell. Another thing, as you can see, those ominous clouds over here. It looks like a storm is coming. Um, there's a lot of people fishing over there where the main river is at, where you might see that gator. But, I'm gonna try to come over here. Um, I don't know if it's gonna work. <laughs> I got some light. Looks like that light over there, they're fishing off that little pier section right here. But yeah, let me take a look. Once again, I've never been here before. The water is slightly clear. Reel and recycle. Oh man, this, I've seen some huge fish blowing up on the other side. I think this, this looks very crabby to me. You know what I'm saying? It looks very crabby to me. Once again, I don't have a lot of light. I've probably got maybe like an hour at max. Um, We'll see if we can make it work. We'll see if we can make it work. Get some crabs, try to get a monster fish. If I get a monster fish, I don't know how I can get it up over here. It looks like there might be lights over there where they're fishing at, I'm not sure. Moon is already out. All right, man, I gotta get my gear, bait my crab rods, try to catch bait, and do this all like in an hour or two. Cause that storm is a coming. <laughs> Buckle up, y'all. It's about to be a wild ride. <laughs> All right, y'all, we don't got a lot of time. The storm is a coming. So we're gonna get the necessities, get my bait out first with my rods. I wanna set out my crab pods first to get everything else out. All right, just using some drumsticks. These are about two weeks old, nice and spoiled. All right, let's get my nets. All right, got our crab pods. Let's go. Once again, we're trying to beat the clock. I'm not sure if this part closes at a particular time, but that don't look good. All right, this water doesn't look super deep, but it does have some water movement on it. So I'm gonna have to make this quick. We'll start over here on the edge. Hold on. All right, not sure how deep that is, but we're gonna make it work. So once again, I got four pots. All right, once again, I got these at Academy. I don't know if this is overkill, they're super big. I don't know. We'll see if they work though. I haven't had super success with them. I caught maybe like three or four crabs since I got them. But we're gonna try to make them work. All right, let's bait it, drop it. Oh man, that storm is coming quick. I was not anticipating the storm. That was not part of the plan, baby. Not part of the plan. Okay. All right, so this one, I got a combination of nets. Ugh. Nice and gooey and slimy. Yep, that should definitely do the trick. We'll put three in there. Okay. Now I have some um, stainless steel hooks. What the hell happened to all my hooks? Okay, they're on there. One, two. Forget it, we're just gonna drop it with the bait. Okay, here we go. Let's drop it, let's drop it. And 
she's going oh this is a lot deeper than i thought oh my god that's maybe like five feet okay that's one drop it here and clip it keep it moving Get another one. Okay. Next one. Oh, this is nice and moldy. Nice, nice. Okay. Rope. Once again, I'm trying to beat the storm. Second drop. Now this one right here, I have a clip. Okay, let's drop it. Oh no, storm's coming. Trapped on my net, there we go. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. Perfect. It surprised me a lot deeper. I'm thinking maybe like four or five feet, surprisingly. Clip it, and we're good. I think nice old spoiled chicken is the key. Preferably, you know. I think crabs don't like fresh bait. Now I haven't had a chance to try a fish in my crab net yet, but I heard that works well. Maybe if I can catch something in a crab net, we can make that work too. One, oh, this is disgusting. This is so disgusting. Two, uh, there we go. Getting more productive with it. Getting more productive with it. Yeah, that'll work. Drop it. Got good water movement. It's coming inward. No, it's not as deep right here. Oh, must have lost my sandal. I almost lost my sandal. Let's clip it. Bet. One more. We'll put one more towards the end. Super shallow right here. Yeah, we'll drop it right here. One more. Even though it's like 7 50 at night, it's still 90 degrees. It feels like 100. If you're wondering why I'm breathing so goddamn hard. Here we go. Alright, last one. Oh man. I can just feel. What is, it, what is it called? Salmon, salmonella, salmahayak. You know the disease when you eat raw chicken? I can just feel it. I know damn well, after seeing that eight foot gator, I'm not about to wash my hands in this damn thing. Okay, there we go. Got one left. Let's drop it. Come on, let's go. And there she goes. That right there is super shallow. It's not even two feet, but we'll leave it. All right, bet. Oh man, I'm so tired. I'm already so tired. I need to wash my hands. Let's check our first crab net. Got a little glove here. It's been about, I did that in like 15 minutes. I wanna check. We might have strong activity. This area right here is super deep. Anything? Nothing. All right, nothing on the first drop. Even though I just dropped everything, I still want to check it. Just try to see how active the spot may or may not be. Let's see. All right, 
I'm just going back and already checking on my pots. It's been about 10 minute drop, but just to check. <gasps> what? Let's MF go, baby! Yes, yes. We on. We on, baby. We on, baby. All right, he's definitely not a keeper. I need to practice getting these little bad boys. By the, by the back, by the back right now. Yeah, he's not, he's definitely not five inches. They have to be five inches from the back. Get up, there we go. First one. Now here's the thing though. I know it has to be five inches in the state of Texas to keep it, but what if you're using it for bait? Would it be legal for me to use this for bait? Cause it's not legal to catch and eat. What is this? It's a male. I think I actually posted on Facebook earlier. Let me check my regulations. Can you keep less than five inch crabs for bait? All right, so I checked it out online about keeping crab. Will you shut up? All right, so I checked online about keeping crab less than five inches. So pretty much what they're saying is that you can keep less than 5%. Rain's coming down. Um, give me a second, give me a second. 5% undersized may be kept. You can use a small crab for bait. They have to be kept separate container from legal size. So I have my cooler here, Home Depot bucket there. I can keep my undersized that I'm using for bait in the Home Depot bucket and keeper size here. You're allowed to have a certain percentage of undersized that I use for bait. So apparently that percentage is 5%. The part I've never understood, if you can keep 10%, okay, I'm good to go. So I can use that small one for bait. But once again, I'm kind of worried about catching something big out here because there's no light besides what I have on my cameras. Y'all can see I'm sweating, I'm pouring down. It's starting to sprinkle. I don't even know if this part closes. I could be locked in here overnight. That would suck. But, but yeah, <laughs> we're gonna go ahead and check our crab pods um, and see what we can do. This is this is gonna be spooky. I'm a little scared. And there's gunshots in the distance. The gunshots over here. There's eight foot gal eight foot alligator over here. This was a very very dumb idea right now. Oh man, here we go. Quick, 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 quick. <laughs> Nothing. I'm over two. Over two. Now this side of the pier is really more deeper. So hopefully, we see better results. I think I might have a top water in the truck. If I have a top water in the truck, it's all right. This one's deeper. Let's see what we got. Deep, deep. Nothing. I don't know. Maybe nighttime is not it. Oh no. The gators are on the move. One, two. I see nothing but gator eyes out there reflecting. That's terrifying. That's terrifying. That is terrifying. Bro, what if a gator comes up on the actual pier? Check our first one over here. The water kind of stopped moving, which is not good, but okay, here we go. This one right here is really deep. Go, 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 go. Feels heavy. <laughs> Nothing. Damn. <sighs> all right, now we checked all of them. <laughs> Nothing. I might just go ahead and toss out my <sighs> toss out my um bait crab. <sighs> if I catch the gator, though. If I catch a gator, I catch a gator. I'm gonna try to land it. Can I catch a gator with a crab? Has that, my bad, y'all, I'm sorry, hold on. Can I catch a gator with a crab? That's that's the question. Super dark, super scared, so I'm the only person on this pier. There's eyes all around me, like literally eyes. There's probably seven to eight alligator along that bank over there on the other side. I am never kayak fishing here starting to sprinkle again. All right, let me try to get my rod and bait up this, this crab and see what happens. 
I'm a little worried, low-key. The rain has come. The rain has come. Nah, I just got here about 10 minutes ago. So oh, just man. getting started, bro. You? You just got here? Yeah, we just pulled up. Yeah, I'm waiting for this to pass. It should be all right. It ain't gonna last long. Nah. You know how many fish out here? All the time. Yeah? What you normally catch? Usually fucking gar and gas out. Gar and gas out? Yeah, man, some big stuff floating around over here. So we'll see. Y'all normally just fish overnight? Yeah, we just fishing out. Yeah. yeah? That's cool, man. We'll see. I'm waiting for it to cool down, man. I know, you can't do nothing during the day, right? No, especially lately. Today was 110 degrees. Exactly. It was hot. Exactly. It was hot. It was hot yesterday. We went to the beach yesterday. It was hot. Where y'all go? Crystal. Oh, bro? Yeah. Yeah, man. It wasn't this hot last year. No, fuck no. No, right? No. My brother... I just got out of prison, man. My brother told me last time it's hot like this, Harvey hit. Oh, for real? Yeah. They said when it's hot like this, Harvey hit. I want to say like in 2020, man, we had a storm come in around the same time. You're right. When it was hot. Yeah, they said when it's... Harvey was 18. So yeah. Was, yeah. I mean, they said when it's hot, you know, it can help them hurricanes pull up that power and yeah, see what yeah. happens. Especially, especially with it hot and cool. This at night time, uh -huh. down to like 78 degrees at night. That's not good. I know, right? From 110 to 78. Uh huh. That's terrible. Exactly, man. We'll see. That's what we're seeing, right, man. Yeah, I won't complain about the winter this time. This year, I know that much. Hell no. <laughs> I don't even like the cold, man, but I. Ain't <laughs> All right, be safe, man. All right, strong storm is coming to be like I'm the only person here. Yeah. Can't see nothing. Wind is crazy. Oh man. Bunch of sand. Like I say, I don't see nobody else here. There was somebody here earlier, but they left. It's total darkness, man. Look at this. Without my light, this is what I see. Terrifying, absolute terrifying. I still have my crab pods out, but I don't know if I can check them right now. Matter of fact, there's one, two, three, four. They're still there. The storm is hasn't actually started raining pretty hard. I took refuge once. Checking out the scenery. Yeah, y'all. Y'all can't see it, but my headlamp is picking up on one, two, three, four, five, six, about eight, eight gators. Eight gators. This is crazy, man. I don't know if I can fish right now. I'm at least check my crab nets. Hey man, this is super sketch. This is super sketch. Yeah, this is dangerous, man. But I'm um, oh, sorry. Oh my God, y'all see that lightning? I'm literally fishing and crabbing in a thunderstorm. Ain't no other YouTuber bring you this kind of content, man. All you other YouTubers up there at the search side, Jetty, Texas City Dyke doing the same thing. But your boy fishing trip bring y'all original content. I see some glowing eyes. I think it was a cat or a raccoon. I'm not really sure. But I will put eight bullets in a cat if I have to. I do not care. Okay, it's gone. It's like a strong smell of urine in the air now. I don't know if that's human urine or do alligators give off some kind of stench. I'm not really sure. Let me get my bucket. I'm not handlining nothing. The hell with that. Let's check our crabs, crab pods. Bro, I'm really worried about a gator. Just walking up on shore, man. It's so dark, I cannot see nothing. 
nothing. Okay. All right, chicken neck here. Let's get our bucket. Check the crab pods. So I got my net. Where's my glove at? Oh God, sand in my eye. Can't see anything. Here's my glove. Ah, ah, sand. At least the wind took away the damn mosquitoes. Ugh. This is not easy. Okay, come on. Whoa, check that out. Guard scope. Well, we know this has a guard in here. Let's check our crab pods. Keep my head on the swivel, man. For people, gators, coyotes, whatever the hell else may be lurking around here. I'm not really sure. Hold on. Okay. Let me put y'all up. I can't hold y'all all day. It's going to the rain again. Come on, hurry up, hurry up. Okay, here comes the wind. Oh no. Looks like the tide dropped a little bit. Super windy. Nothing. Let's bring it over here a little closer to the edge by the rocks. Check our second one. See a couple of trucks out there. Let's see these cars come this way. If they wrap back around, I gotta get back to my truck. Do not want to get jacked. Nothing. All right, we're not getting nothing. I don't know if the crabs really bite at night. There's no light here. You can't see anything. It's windy and it's raining. All right, this one's kind of shallow. Oh, we got one. Here we go. This would be another one good for bait. I gotta get good at this. Get that little swimmer leg right now. There we go, there we go. Ah, ha, ha. There we go. Another good size for bait. Only problem is, it's raining, it's wet. I can't sit out here and just watch my rod in the rain. I keep checking for cars that's coming back, man, because I'm worried somebody might try to roll up on me. I'm the only person out here right now. Oh, man. Super sketch. I'm not even sure if they locked this park at night. I could be stuck over here all night. I don't know. So, like I said, you can use this for bait. But I'm not going to use it just for bait yet. Unless it's rain stop, there's no point because I can't sit out here and watch my rod. Definitely can't sit out here and watch my rod. Hold on, let me see something real quick. I got a crab gauge. Here we go. Well, I'll be dang. This is actually, yeah, this is legal. It's actually legal. Tip the tip. Tip the tip. It's more than five inches. Well, hell, that's the case. What about the other one? Let me try the other one. Stop fighting. Stop fighting. Stop fighting. This one right here is Aggie. She does not play around. Let me get a measurement on them. Oh yeah, this one, yeah. This one legal too. Both of these are actually legal. Over five inches. I'm doing good. 
drop it back in. This has been a good spot right here. I might have to move my other ones though. I don't want to do nothing crazy. Man. All right, so we got two blue crabs, actually both legal. They have to be longer than five inches point to point. Both of those are like five and a half. Oh man, the rain is picking up. I thought I heard somebody walking on the pier. Super dark, I can't see anything because of the light. Let's take refuse back in the truck. See the rain calm down, so I'm gonna be back. Here's the bounty. Oh man. Look at that, y'all. I might be here a while. And it's all coming directly my way. F my life. F my freaking life. Oh. All right, it's been about 10 to 15 minutes. I'm still trying to wet out the rain. I'm checking my radar. It looks like this storm might last another, I don't know, five or 10 minutes. I'm constantly checking my surroundings. There's nobody here in this park besides alligator, coyotes, and raccoons and strange individuals coming from the darkness. So yeah, man, constantly checking my surroundings. I got my four crab pots still out there. Um, I have two keeper blue crabs, you know what I'm saying? I thought that was under crabs or undersized crabs, but I did check the measurement. They're both over five inches, so they're keepers. Um, there's some big, big stuff out there breaking water. It looks like huge gar. I never caught a gar before. I don't think trying to catch my first huge gar in pitch black darkness. Y'all think I'm lying when I say pitch black darkness? Look at this, watch this. That's what it looks like out there. Yeah, so by myself, no, no. So we're gonna try to wait out the storm um, and keep checking my crab pods. There's another little boat ramp over there, but hell no. Hell no, that boat ramp is low to the water. I see nothing but reflective eyes all along this damn river. I'm staying high and dry. Low key, I'm worried about alligators coming up on land on this side, because they walk on that pier. There's only one way off the pier. How many rounds, how many 40 caliber rounds does it take to shoot and kill an alligator? Somebody let me know, comment below. Comment below. Catch cooking and clink. Catch cook, catch cook and clink alligator, here we go. I'll be the first YouTuber in Texas in the Galveston surrounding area to do a catch, clean, and cook on an alligator. Shot eight times with a 40 caliber bullet. I've been in this truck for 30 minutes, man. That storm is moving hella slow. It might be another 30 minutes or an hour before it passes. It's a light sprinkle going on right now. I'm gonna try to run and check my nets real quick. I don't know if I'm gonna try to stay out here. Depending on, if, I, if there's no crabs in those nets, I might just all pull them and call it a day because that storm looks like it's gonna get worse. Let's go check the nets to see if we have anything. I'm gonna have to just take the L today and come back on another day. I'm still posting this regardless. All right, let's go check the nets. Make this quick. All right, ready? Go, 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 go. Okay, okay, okay. Watch out for, look for alligators. First look for alligators. Alligators, alligators. No, no. All right, we good. Get a bucket. Two creeper crabs. Start over here. Oh man. Tighten up my britches. First look for where them alligators at. See fish jumping one. Oh man, look, they're creeping over here. They by my net. I can already see there's nothing in this one because the tide is down. Oh no. Oh, come on, bro. What happened? Okay, let's bring this one up. Tangled in the line. 
Gotta be kidding me. All right, man. We'll keep this one up. Let's strike one. This one right here has been producing, but the expose. Whoa, whoa, my God. Bro, that spider is huge. I don't want no problems, big fella. This one right here has been producing with the exposed nothing. That's two. Strike two. All right, we have two. Over two. Watch out for big spiders and big alligators. Oh my god. Bro, I thought I hit the mother load. Y'all, look at that. Turtle soup, baby. Turtle soup. Soft tail turtle soup. Can I eat this? Come here, pal. Oh, man, look at that. I've never caught a turtle before. Looks like it's some kind of soft tail. Man, he's aggy. Look at that. That's a cool looking turtle right there. Whoa, 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 watch my balls, watch my balls. All right, y'all, so. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, okay, we're good. Apparently, I caught some kind of turtle. Soft tail. Oh, mother. All right, it's a little hasty. Let's see if I drop it down. Can it get out itself? All right, buddy. Go, go. Get out. Swim away. Swim away. Are you gone? It's still in the damn cage. Watch for gators. Look at the time it came up deeper. Bro, those alligators are huge. I wish I can see them over there, man. And the light reflecting. Oh my God. I would not swim in this water for nothing. I'm trying to get the turtle out. I'm flattening it up. The bastard's still on there. Okay, I'm gonna have to flip the cage. Look, bro. There you go. Look, I'm just gonna drop you. There we go. Could've had turtle soup. I don't know the regulation of turtles. Keep it moving. I put this one over here, a little bit more shallow, towards the edge of the rocks. Whoa, oh my God, look at that gar. Y'all see that gar right there? All right, let's bring it up. Maybe I catch a gar, that'd be nice. <clears throat> Nothing, freak man. All right, y'all, I'm O for four. Caught a turtle, I see gar out here. The storm is coming. We only got two blue crabs. I think I'm gonna call it a day, y'all. I'm gonna call it a day. We're gonna release these crabs. Four crabs, four pods, only one turtle. The storm is coming from the north down here. It's gonna get pretty hectic. I gotta drive an hour back to Houston. I think I'm gonna go ahead and dump all the chicken, get my crab nets, and call it a day, man. Let's go on and release these bad boys. Y'all get the fight and live another day. Peace out, homies. It's been real. All right, y'all, let me get my crab nets. I'll holler at y'all one more time. All right, look, check this out, man. We're gonna call it a night. This storm is not stopping anytime soon. It's a bigger storm coming from the north headed this way. I gotta go about an hour back towards the Houston. If y'all wanna see me come back to this spot during the early morning, I need 200 likes. 200 likes will make it happen. There's eight foot alligators out here. I see a ton of alligator guard blowing up. Blue crab out here. This spot, the spot has potential. I just came really too late. Too late, man, but it's spooky out here, man. It's definitely spooky out here. Like I said, I'm by myself. We're gonna call it a day, man, but out there in that marsh, I assure you, there's a ton of alligator staring right back at me. Once again, man, y'all wanna see me come back? 200 likes, let's do it. I got a feeling. 
I can make this spot special. Thanks for watching, man. Make sure y'all subscribe to tune in to my next fishing adventure. It's been real, y'all. Peace.